Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here goes. Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I shed it. Ah, we're all gonna die! What it is, guys! It's your boy Blast from SHD, and today we are back to check out some Family Guy dark humor indeed. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link is somewhere around here. I, there's, there's no telling nowadays. Always. Well, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Yeah, life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not you're gonna have time to masturbate. Peter, I'm gonna run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or ten minutes. Well, which is it? All right, Peter, do you have a story that you'd like to share? Oh, yeah, I got one. This one time, me and Joe and Quagmire made a bet to see who could drink the most beer and still drive. And you, you know that water slide in South Attleboro? You ready? I don't want to do this. Go! That went exactly as I wanted it to go. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, yeah, ice cream sounds great. The only thing is... Mrs. Griffin, could I speak with you and Brian alone, please? Well, of course. Kids, why don't you wait in the car? Okay, Mom. Let's go find the big black sassy nurse. I'm glad that limousine jousting skit wasn't hilarious, bro, because I'd, I'd been holding it in for the prior three skits, which were funny, and I, I was about to lose on that one. I was going to lose the whole everything. Man, that was close. I read books. You can cry about it, or you can decide to live. It's your choice. Founder. Great, Peter. Nice going. This dinner was a disaster. Eh, Clash of the Titans Owl was worse. So you're from Greece. Ah, oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? <laughs> yeah, I can't... What? I can't understand a word he's saying. Yeah, I told you, Lois. Only Harry Hamlin can. If you're gonna invite the owl, you gotta invite Harry Hamlin. I will not have Harry Hamlin in this house. Oh, no! We're too late. I'm sorry, Carol. But if it helps, you're not the first person to get a bum deal. Mr. Edison, we're going to use your invention to power the world. And Mr. Tesla, we're going to use yours in the background of Frankenstein movies. Oh, I wanted that one. Worry, Brian, I've got it all under control. You're a big canine star. They should be treating you like Spuds McKenzie. Man, I wonder what he's doing now. Now, ladies, approach him slowly. He can't really see anymore. I've injected him with the Viagra. Now, I'm going to roll him on his back, but you're pretty much going to have to do 100% of the work. Peter, you've been fiddling with that ham radio for seven weeks. Take a shower. I can barely get any reception on this stupid thing. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. And now with sports, here's Frampton Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing, boing Welfenklompers, 70 fluff to 40 flabe. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. Hello? Who's this? This is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The guy that used to bang that 70-pound witch? Ronald Reagan, former president of the United States. Oh, my God! Hey, Quagmire, guess who I'm talking to right now? Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasize. Where'd you get all that money from? Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. Come on! That was funny. That was funny. That's fake. Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you! I love you! We're all such good friends! You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together! Is that how fat girls are and created? And that's where fat girls come from. Oh, I was wondering. Hey, guys. Uh, okay, I knew. I, talk I, to you for I a know second. now. I did something terrible. Oh, hey, we've all done terrible things. Attention, everyone. The plane is sinking, so I need you all to proceed onto the floating slide. Dear airplane people, I owe you one floating slide. And just so you know, the guy stewardess was angry gay, not happy gay. 
What does it say? Nothing. Just instructions and stuff. He's not smothering me. He's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I do hope this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Matters stateside have taken a tragic turn as this year's gourd crop has fallen prey to a rather unexpected infestation of salt marsh cutworms. Dip, 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 dip. Peter, it's four in the morning. Come to bed. Marital concerns continue to bedevil me. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um... There's not really a wolf. What? Don't, my kids. I love them. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. Mother! Peter, you blew up their marriage! This was a huge mistake! Well, we've all made mistakes. Eh. What? <laughs> ah, mom, mom! Why did the sign say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door! <laughs> oh my god! Well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Yep. Ew. <laughs> That's women. There you go. Ha-ha, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> You're so pretty, I miss you! <laughs> well, I guess Translation! You filthy slag! But I would also like to see your vagina maybe between the hours of 8 and 12. I... Good night. Come on, Stewie. Up to bed. No party? Oh, come on. I was going to show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right. I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, great-grandpa. Ah! Future old people are wizards. Peter, trust me. I know what's going on in the head. It's just a game. I used to do the same thing to my parents. The problem is they pushed back, and the results were not good. You joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-doo thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. Well, now that I've wrapped things up with you guys, I better wrap things up with my basement family. Well, did you guys learn your lesson about eating uncooked antelope? You're just two people who live in the same house. If you didn't, you'd never hang out with each other in a million years. He owns you. You're his property. He used to hang you in the garage so his fender wouldn't hit the wall. You're there. You're there! I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Yeah, he ain't shit. We gotta oh. protect bald eagles? Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on Eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. Just shave some off your balls and paste it on your scalp if it's that serious. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Yeah, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter Ooh. would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! Let's what? No, handle. he's at a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. You know how the Asians Let's look 30 the until they're 60? Yo. This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look a hundred, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. 
Hey, you want to see a movie? Nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! Yeah! feel good! Yeah! And now, Kohawk Channel 5 presents Movie and a Bath with a guy named Lou. Hey, it's Saturday night, and you know what that means. We're gonna take a bath and watch the 1984 interesting movie Gremlins. We? Now, the Gremlins are funny. I don't know if those things are puppets or they put costumes on dogs or something, but let's press play and find out, huh? How about not? Uh, you can't get them things wet, by the way, but don't worry. This don't affect that. No. All right, then let's do it tomorrow night. Good. I'm just gonna have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. What? Let's take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah. Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something. Like a date. Like a date date or like a date. Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe, I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. Cut away, sir. Hey, that's good then. Friends, family, and characters random. To bring you joy and laughter in tandem. To divert and dazzle is our intention. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. That's not bad. Pretty good. Oh, I enjoyed that. I love summer. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. No. Oh my God, that is real. No, total fake. That's totally real. That's totally fake. Look at the way it walks. Why would somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? You know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. That's not a lap. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Oh. Don't live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! Oh! You gotta, you gotta kill him. Thanks, Quagmire. You gotta I'll be fight honest, him. It was nice to be acknowledged by it's the, the only chief way. once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! Uh, hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Oh, careful. Watch out there, Brian. Looks like the floor is wet. Excuse me, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I've been a little distracted lately. I think my wife has been crossing the street with another man. God, I hope Alan doesn't find out. Hey, forget that klutz. And getting rid of the government has been the best thing to happen uh -huh. around here in a long time. That's right. Without government, I'm free to take a lot of mescaline and drive to Vegas. Because Mexicans? So still Mexicans. There Wait, it is. you see Debbie Reynolds on stage. Yeah, and now my Spanish teacher and I can finally hold hands in the halls. Meg, donde esta la biblioteca? because I'm going to bang you in the biblioteca. I am going down to that rally tomorrow, and I am joining the tea party. Oh, wait, that's the same time as my men's knitting club. Although they have been really critical lately. You're still not knitting honestly, Peter. You're, you're knitting like you want us to like you. It's not coming from inside. It's very superficial. Thank you! You've made my decision easier! Yes, that! Knit that! <laughs> Where is this girl? Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I Ooh. hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? We now return to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, edited for goats. Marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead. 
I'm fine by myself. I'll just watch my Patrick Swayze movie and take a two full bath. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. We now return to the Super Friends Accountant. Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the Super Friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not going to be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. I hear. Carol, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't just jump right back in it. Lois, this is my life, and this is what I want. I will marry you, Mayor Adam West. Oh, great. I can't wait to tell the gals of my singles group. Ah, come on. This is the goal, isn't it? Lois, I need ah! $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hiroshimase! Hajimemashite! Here comes a black guy! Sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo! Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the bat cave. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation worthy. Yeah, I love parties. I mean, I had a great time at my baby shower. Well, after opening all these gifts, I could use a little wine right now myself. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, my hormones are just crazy right now. Now, I think we should send Stewie to Corridors. I know it's a little pricey, but it's the best preschool in the area. Really? Is it the one where they make him dress in the little shorts and hats like the guy in ACDC? Yeah, why does he wear that outfit? Because he rocks. What? <laughs> When I picked this, I didn't know I'd have to wear it when I'm 60. I'm very cold. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm going to call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Like the U.S. Army Reserves. We're completely surrounded. We need reinforcements. You know who could really bail us out? Somebody who works five days a week at Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Go ahead. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. I know. There's a lot of crazy things I'll let Peter get away with. I even held my tongue when he went through that anime phase. Hey, Lois, me make drive time to a super fun clam with Noble Quagmire and Wheel Monster Joe. Go Force! This is terrible! I can't be short! I'll be an outcast like Rudolph the Uncircumcised Reindeer! What? Look, Rudolph, it's not me, all right? It's Dasher. He's been complaining, and he is the one who has to look at it all night. I don't know. Mrs. Claus says it'll decrease my sensitivity. I'm, I'm sorry, why are you talking to my wife about this? Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bat. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here goes! Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it... Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Wow, this is easier than getting your jet ski license. All what? right, Kyle, looking good. You got 100% on your written test, 100% on your water test. Just one last question. Have you ever had a fist fight with your stepdad? Which stepdad? You passed. Here's your license. Go be a dick. You owe me from when I took you to see Shakespeare in the pack, even though it was the part of the pack where the gay guys go to have sex. To be or not to be. Yeah! Ah, right there. Ignore that. That's not part of the play. That is the question, whether tis nobler. This isn't love, by the way. You see that? My dog had a gun. How are we doing? Are we beating anyone? I waited too long to pick a partner. Ah! These guys were a little sharper than my ah! old family. 
I still remember our duck. <laughs> After that one. Oh man, hope they got Wi Fi. Duck Goose disaster. Jack, 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 Jack. Duck. What is that other word? All right, I'm off to the fish market. <laughs> what? Why? Well, the most intimidating people are toothpick guys who work at seafood counters and make people uncomfortable for not knowing about fish. What's good here? It's all, all good. good. What's the freshest? It's all fresh. How about the halibut? Is it gamey? Gamey? I mean, you know, is it fishy? It's all fish. Is there a special way to prepare it? I'd cook it up. Well, what's the best fish here? What's your favorite fish? I don't eat fish. I only like spaghetti. Right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Exercise since I chased that balloon. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Joe. We are competing in the International Chef Boy ID Lookalike Contest. Oh, well, where's your chef hat? You guys are going to lose, especially Cleveland. He's in the cream of wheat competition, which is down the street. We, we got to go now. We're very late. Well, this is funny because guess where I'm going? And I got the hat. You guys are dead. <sighs> Look, Joe, we didn't want to tell you, but... We're going to the seriously wicked bull run. We didn't invite you because we didn't think you could keep up. Yeah, we thought it seemed too dangerous for, uh, incapacitated half-man shrivel-legged gimps. And we didn't want to hurt your feelings. Come on, my handicap has never held me back. I'm coming with you guys. Joe, you peed in your bag while you said that. Can you honestly say that you didn't pee just now while you were talking? Okay, you can come. <laughs> It doesn't get realer than that, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Twisms.